back, relax, maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys, so I am here today to do a graphic novel review and that is Fables, which is by Bill Willingham, Lan Medina, Steve Leolola and Craig Hamilton. This is volume one of Fables, which is called Legends in Exile. I really enjoyed this. It was very interesting and I definitely like the premise of this story. Essentially what we have is a world where any fables and fairy tale characters that we know and believe we understand from their original stories such as Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, The Big Bad Wolf, all of those people, we feel like we know their stories, we know what happens to them. Snow White goes off and lives with some seven dwarves and so on, but that's not her real story, that's just the fairy tale glossy version in this we get to see what happens after their stories, so once that storyline has come to an end they go off and live in Fable Town. Now Fable Town is basically a town filled with all sorts of different people from fairy tales and fables and this town has been established in our world because there was a big war that happened between the Emperor and the Fables and the Emperor basically took over their homeland where all of their castles are and all of their lands are so they had to move into our world to set up a society and a community. Now we follow in this story a few of the major characters such as Snow White. She is a leader on the council and she is quite an important position. We also follow Bigby who is the wolf, the big bad wolf. He has been transformed into a human and he is now a detective for Fable Town, and we are trying to find Rose Red. Rose Red, who is Snow White's sister, has been declared missing, her apartment has been found all bloody and everything has been completely messed up, and Jack, who is like Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk, has gone to Big B and told him about it and no one knows where she is, so it's basically an investigation into what has happened to Rose Red and where she could possibly be and who has done this to her and whether she's even alive or dead. So I really like this approach to kind of introducing us to the characters because I feel like if we had just been thrown into the world of a load of different characters we wouldn't understand who is who and we'd get a bit confused but the fact that we focus on only a few of these characters with brief mentions of other people along the way such as Prince Charming was a really nice introduction and it really led me to kind of understand the storylines and what has happened to those people, those characters to get them into the positions they are now in. It gives you a little bit of backstory about how the war happened and also how their lives kind of changed and how they have adapted to our modern day society to try and fit in and then it also is a really interesting storyline as well. It's a detective story, it's an investigation and it's a very fun one. So if we have a look at the artwork, I think the artwork is incredible. It's really comic book style which is very cool. I love the vibrant colours, I think they work so incredibly well and I think that the artwork itself, the drawing style, not always my favourite but definitely interesting enough to capture your attention and keep you reading through it quite happily. I do love the colours, I think they're very comic-y, just very predictable, but in a fun way it kind of makes you want to just pick up and read a comic, which is what this is. Of course, even though they do live in our world and they have had to adapt to our world, there are things such as rooms which are a lot bigger when you go inside them and magical things like that where they've kind of retained their heritage so it's not all boring investigations or just everyday modern life, it is very much magical and you see the connections between people from their storylines happening and how marriages have dissolved and things like this. It's a very very cool idea to take all of these fable characters and just put them into a kind of New York Manhattan setting, it's very very funny and on the whole I just really enjoyed this, I feel like this is a great start to a series, I don't know where it's going to go next but there is so much scope for what could happen in this series because of the amount of characters so yeah, it's it could go anywhere and I'm very hopeful that I will enjoy the next volume too. I ended up giving this one a 3.5 stars which is pretty good but only because I feel like the next volumes can get better. This is definitely an introduction volume, it definitely has room for improvement because it is only volume one, but I'm really excited to see where it's going to go and I hope that it's going to be really interesting and fun and I have no doubt that it will be. So yeah, do let me know if you started reading Fables, what you think of it, and I'm really excited to continue on with this someday soon as well. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!
me and you gonna have a little